Welcome to Smart Accounting. Let's talk about purchase order distribution. Purchase order distributions are helpful for setting up recurring costs on a production. Let's walk through a setup. Similar to creating a normal purchase order, on the left, click Purchase Orders, then Purchase Order Entry. Enter your batch information. You must create a batch before going forward. At the top of the screen, click the PO Distribution icon. Enter your start date and how many working days in the week. Also, enter the format in which you'd like the date to appear in your description. Tab down and your cursor will land on the line items. Select the appropriate coding for your production's line items. Depending on your chart of accounts and system setup, your information may be different. Add the description of the recurring costs you wish to enter. At the bottom, enter how long you'll be billing this item. If it will be months, weeks, or days, enter the appropriate information. For whichever time option you choose, enter the corresponding amount. Hit F6 or click the diskette icon at the top of the screen to save, and you'll be taken back to the purchase order entry screen. All of the information you entered in the distribution screen will appear. Enter the PO number and the vendor information, along with the description and the original amount. Notice the dates in the description below. The information you put in the distribution field has populated, showing the recurring cost of this item. Once you've verified all the information is correct, hit F6 or click the diskette icon at the top of the page to save. And you're all set. And that's creating a purchase order distribution in Smart Accounting. Thanks for watching.